Hey guys, what's up? It's Paul Heslop, part of the Mint Mob, where we share with you the freshest packaging ideas. So one company that comes to my mind when I think about innovation is Ikea. How on earth is Ikea fitting this entire um, dresser in my bedroom into a tiny box that I can fit in the back of my car? Right? I'd consider them packaging geniuses, honestly, not for the way their consumer packaging necessarily looks on the shelf, but that they're able to fit like that entire dresser or other objects, pieces of furniture into such small boxes. But in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys that Ikea is planning on using mushrooms. Yes, like mushrooms to package up their boxes and their products. So why mushrooms and why is this significant? Well, for the fact that mushroom packaging, also known as mycelium packaging, fungi packaging, can actually be placed and thrown in your garden and decompose within a matter of weeks. IKEA is being part of the solution here, not part of the problem. So I recently came across this article on ecosnippets.com that shares a lot more information about this. Many companies are using polystyrene to package up and protect their goods, especially when they're being shipped. And the problem with polystyrene is the fact that it is devastating for the environment. I mean, it's it's really, really bad. It's it's. There was a, a study done by Harvard that showed that polystyrene is made from petroleum. It's not sustainable, non-renewable, heavily polluting, and as fast as appearing commodity. So this non-biodegradable material actually takes thousands of years, like thousands of years to decompose. So that's not doing the environment any favors whatsoever. The problem is us as human beings, um, we're, we're consuming by purchasing and throwing in landfills about 14 million tons of this every single year. Now, if you guys wanted to check out any of the sources that I have on this, just follow those links below. So luckily we have a company like Ikea who is recognizing this being that solution, not part of the problem. And they're wanting to convert their packaging to this mycelium, this mushroom packaging, fungi packaging. There's an American brand that I've linked below who's responsible for developing this alternative to styrofoam. So I'm not gonna really nerd out on this too much. You can, you can click these articles to find out more in-depth information. But essentially, um, this packaging they developed, you can literally throw it in a garden and in a matter of weeks, it's gonna decompose. Like a garden, you guys. You guys wanna see my garden, actually? All right, so I got some, uh, some beets right here, and then I've got a couple tomato plants. That's pretty much it. Okay, so maybe I can't throw it in my garden because that's kind of small, but you guys get the point. Joanna Yarrow, who is head of sustainability at IKEA UK, um, she said this about this specific material. She said, the great thing about mycelium is you can grow it into a mold that then fits exactly. You can create bespoke packaging. So literally, like if you guys have a bottle, if you have a certain shape object, I, I know like Dell Computers and other companies are using this as well, but if you have an object, they can create a mold around it. So not only can protect your package, but I think it's kind of a cool look as well. You look through some of these images that these brands are using. Like I think it, like it, speaks to sustainability from a visual perspective, and that's what you're trying to communicate to your customer, but also it protects it in an awesome way. So the question I have for y'all is, are you being part of the solution or part of the problem? You can actually check out a article or a guide that we publish that helps you figure out how to take your packaging in a more sustainable direction. Um, check it out, it's a totally free guide. All right, another cool question for you guys. What's your favorite IKEA product? Are you, are you part of this uh, cult following around the Poeng armchair or perhaps the Ektorp sofa? Uh, I personally am partial to the uh, Calyx shelving units and the dock stop table system. Billy bookcases, can't go wrong there. But what's your favorite Ikea product? Leave that in the comments or what's your favorite Ikea product name? Some pretty creative Swedish names in there. Um, and you guys, before I forget, subscribe. 